my class, I wanted to talk about the concept of comparative embryology and why this is an important piece of the puzzle to understanding evolution and common ancestry. So what we have here is an image drawn by a biologist in 1874. His name was Ernst Haeckel. And his images are sketches of embryos of these eight animals now. Embryos are the fusion of sperm and egg. These are all sexually reproducing organisms. And as we can see from these images that Haeckel is telling us, or what the images are telling us, is that the similarities that we see in the first stages of the embryological development suggest common ancestry, that at some point, all of these organisms had shared a common ancestor. It also tells us something about the degrees of relation. We can see, for example, there are more similarities to the embryos here. And as the embryos continue to develop, we see further similarities of the these two here, which would suggest that the rabbit and the human are more closely related than the human and the chick. While there are similarities in the embryological development at this second stage, they are more similar here and here. Likewise, we can see greater similarity to these two, which would suggest that the fish and the salamander are more closely related than, let's say, the fish and the chicken. So this is an important concept to understand. This is an important piece of evidence supporting the idea that organisms share common ancestry. That term common ancestry is very important. Now, the challenge with this image is that drawn in 1874, it's not exactly accurate. It's possible that Haeckel was trying to prove a point or that he had a, a, a conclusion that he wanted everyone to have. And so we can't just trust these images exactly. If we look at more uh, modern images, we can see uh, MRIs of organisms, we can see that they're not quite as similar as he drew. So he drew, Haeckel drew these images, suggesting that they're really, really almost identical at that first stage. These MRIs suggest that there's much more difference than he was letting on. But even in these images, we can see that there is a shared ancestry. We can see the backbone here. We can see the tail. So it's still while Hegel's images were not entirely truthful or accurate, the, the overall truth of the similarity of the earliest development is correct. So homologous structures, similar bone structures, and comparative embryology are two important pieces of the puzzle supporting the concept of common ancestry.